am Shreya, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how to find out if the CPU on a T2 or T3 Amazon EC2 Windows instance is being throttled. Let's get started. T2 or T3 EC2 instances are burstable performance instances that provide a baseline level of CPU performance with the ability to burst above that baseline level. The baseline performance and the ability to burst are governed by CPU credits. CPU credits are earned when a T2 or T3 instance uses fewer CPU resources than is required for baseline performance, for example when it's idle. As more credits are earned, the credit balance increases. When the CPU performance needs to cross the baseline level, the instance spends the accrued credits and the CPU credit balance decreases. Now let's see how we can verify if the CPU on a T2 or T3 Windows instance is being throttled. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 console. Let me start by giving a quick background. Currently, I have a T2 large Windows instance called Demo in the running state. Now, let's check the CPU credit balance for the instance. First select the instance and then open the monitoring tab. On the CPU credit balance graph, if you see that the credit balance has dipped and is close to or equal to zero, it means that the CPU is likely being throttled. Another way to find out if the CPU on the instance is being throttled is to check the CPU utilization for the instance. Open the monitoring tab and on the CPU utilization graph, check if the average CPU utilization is close to the baseline performance per vCPU for your instance type. For the T2 large instance, it is 30% per vCPU and the graph here indicates a value close to 30%. Log into the instance, open Task Manager and note the CPU utilization. As seen here, the CPU utilization for the instance demo is 100%. In summary, if CPU utilization is speaking at or near 100% in Task Manager and is close to the baseline on the console, the instance's CPU is being throttled. To resolve this issue, we can enable T2 or T3 Unlimited or change the instance type. Lastly, note that if T2 or T3 Unlimited is already enabled on the instance, the credit balance launches with zero credits. However, this doesn't negatively affect the performance of the instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.